Now let us try to solve this problem, quite easy problem. So you have a CH2OH, CH2Br and if I treat with NOH, what will be the product? And now I give you a hint, the final product is epoxide. Epoxide, do you remember what is epoxide? There is a cyclic ethers are called epoxide, so this is a cyclic ether. So I will give you a hint, that is a, the final product is a cyclic ether. So derive the product using this idea you derive the product let me give you some more hint OH minus will act as a base it will take H plus and now you have a nucleophile it can do intramolecular SN2 reaction so the first step is acid base and second step is intramolecular SN2 reaction now you can write to the product. I think all of you can write now. First step is acid base, second step is intramolecular SN2. Did you get the product? Are you getting or not? So first step is uh, take H plus, make a nucleophile, attack, leave VR. Okay, I think all of you have done. So let us see the solution. What we can do in this case is, so this is your CH2, CH2OH. First step, it can take H plus, this goes here. So you will have O minus. In the next step, this O minus can attack here and this VR can leave. So you will have finally CH2O. So this is epoxide and cyclic ether is also called as a cyclic ether. So the first step you can copy those who are not able to understand. So let us copy. Please copy fast. I have to do one more problem of the same kind. So let us do those who have done this one. Let us do this problem. What will be the product in this case? Those who have done this one. Now the same thing. The same reaction, the top we have done, the same question we have in the bottom. Same thing, everything is same. Now OH minus is again act as a base. It will take H plus from NH2 and you make NH minus and then you do uh, intramolecular attack. So this reaction is an intramolecular attack because this O minus is a nucleophile attacking on the same molecule. So this is an intramolecular reaction, SN2 kind of reaction. This attacks, this goes. So this is the SN2. And this is happening inside the molecule and that's why this is the intramolecular. Are you getting? So let us do the next one. I think all of you can, can do. So you first make a carbon ion, uh, nitrogen minus and then attack the nitrogen minus. You will get the result. You will have a 5 member ring. So have you done or not? I think all of you done now let us see the solution so what we can do is so here we have so this side I have I have nothing so you see uh, this base so H minus I have here so basically OH minus can act as a base so this OH minus can take H plus from here and once this take H plus so let me do this one so this H plus takes this goes here so if it happens something like this you will have a minus on nitrogen the next step this attacks here this BR goes so you will have something like this so once again this is a intramolecular SN2 SN2 this is happening same time and this is again intramolecular so this is example of again intramolecular SN2 reaction so you have an intramolecular SN2 in this case also now you are getting a 5 member ring you can copy see 1 2 3 4 5 so you have a 5 member ring and one carbon connected to nitrogen, nitrogen also have a hydrogen, so I have to put one hydrogen. Of course, there is a lone pair on the nitrogen is there. Are you getting? I think all of you are able to do this one. Pretty easy problem. If you have written, then I can go for the next problem.
okay let us discuss the next problem i think all of you have copied this one now 